Hi, this is Rick from Green Our Planet. Today we're in one of the school fruit orchards and I want to talk to you about fruit tree pruning. So pruning, when do you do it? Well, for most trees, um, and deciduous trees, trees that lose their leaves in the wintertime, you want to prune in the wintertime when they're asleep. The only trees that are not pruned when they're deciduous are citrus trees, and they're pruned in the spring or early summer after fruit is set. So the first steps of pruning a tree are identifying the tree. You wanna find out the age of the tree, the type of tree, and where the fruit is produced. That's going to guide your next pruning steps. Some trees are pruned to more of an open center. Some trees are pruned taller, like you'd see most landscape trees. And some trees are pruned open shape, kind of a bush shape. If you're gonna prune fruit trees, you're going to need the right equipment. And what I have here is a pair of loppers. This is for larger cuts pair of bypass pruners. This will be for most cuts, most smaller cuts on the tree. Pruning saw for larger cuts. Alcohol for sanitizing your tools, either in between each cut or definitely in between each tree. And of course, gloves. You can wear heavier gloves, leather gloves, if you're working around a lot of thorns. I like lighter gloves because they're not as heavy. The first type of cuts you should be making on your fruit trees are the large structural or thinning cuts. These cuts are made using your loppers or your pruning saws and they help develop the structure of the tree and open up the tree for the smaller cuts which should come after this. So this is a plum. It is the Santa Rosa variety. Plums produce their fruit on modified short spurs on second ear wood. They can be grown as either an open vase shape with no central leader or a modified central leader like this one is, where it's cut into many branches but still has one central stem. When I prune this tree, I'm going to do a couple of things going to cut away the branches that are growing at improper angles, going to take away the growth that's growing inside toward the stem so that all of our fruit production is outward facing where the sun can ripen it and sweeten it. And I'm gonna bring down the height a little bit in order to spur fruit production on last year's wood. These branches here will probably go away. The lower branches will go away in a couple of years, but I don't want to lose fruit production down here until I have it established up here. So when you're training your trees, you are going for final shape. You are planning for final shape. Don't give up fruit production if you already have it. You can take the fruit from this. You can enjoy it. Just cut these before they get bigger than an inch and spend all your focus on increasing fruit production up here. So plums kind of fall into the same type of category as apricots. Um, you grow them kind of messy and I mean that's fine for some gardeners. I like having trees that are nice and orderly but I have to do what the plum wants. So just like an apricot you want the inside of the tree to be a little busy. Um, the tree's happiest when it's got a lot of branches that can form these fruiting spurs. And this tree has done a really good job of that. I'm not gonna mess with it. I may come back and take some of this height out of the tree and clean up some of the inside branches, but I'm really not gonna mess with it other than that.
so I finished the rough pruning on this plum, the Santa Rosa plum. I'm not done yet. Obviously I still need to paint it, but what's most important is I'm going to come back and I'm going to insert pieces of wood that they call spreaders. And I just use pieces of bamboo. I cut little notches in them so that the branches will fit into them and they can fit up against the tree trunk and not damage it. These crotch angles, the way this branch is growing out of this tree are too close. They should be at 30 degree angle, 35 degree angle, not a 45, but you want them at a comfortable height like this branch. This branch is at a perfect angle. These are too close, but I want to keep them. So I'm going to install spreaders and they will push the branch out away from the tree and I'll keep them on for a year or two until the tree has had a chance to grow enough to hold that shape. And that'll give me my final shape that I want in this tree. I'm not gonna throw these branches away because they're gonna serve their purpose later on in the tree's life. But I do wanna make sure they're at a proper angle. But basically that's the pruning. I've left enough new wood to develop spurs as the tree grows up. I've brought down the height a little bit so it's at a comfortable height. These trees can easily grow six to eight feet in a growing season. All of that growth is just for the tree's use to collect energy. It produces no fruit. All the fruit production is on second year short spurs. Hi, this is Rick from Green Our Planet. Thanks for watching.